Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode on how to make a game like fish. So in the last episode we did the second mini game. So let's get into it. So if we just expand the rod, you can see that we can shake. And this will just continue on until we hit 100 of the progression. And now we got it. So as you can see, progress 100. And what we want to do is then we want to move on to the next phase. So we go to the rod script here. And then we want to warn progress 100. And then we also want to do, since the clone is just inside the template. And then we want to do for underscore every clone in then let's do shake actually just put this outside here this is a lot easier and then we do shake get children do if clone is a and then we want to see what we have to if clone is a image button and clone.name is equal to template then continue and everything else we want to destroy and then we can warn Moving on to phase three. And yeah, so let's try this out. So when we go here, we go to fish. Okay, this is actually out of my screen for now. Okay, moving on to phase three. Now we can't click this. And yeah, since we have to fix one simple thing, since we don't rename it, so we want to do clone.name is equal to clone. Or we could do progress. Yeah, we can just name it progress. And then, as we can see, <clears throat> when we go to the player GUI, in the fishing, in the shake frame, you will see that there will be appearing a few things. So we got 0, 5, 10, 15, all those different values. And when this hits 100, it will then destroy all the leftover stuff in there, I hope. And yes, so there's nothing there, and we can safely move on to phase three. Also, there are a few bugs which don't let you just uh, be in a server with basically more than one player, since every player that just joins afterwards gets kicked. So, what we have to fix in there is just that we have to change the module. So we go to the server, we actually load every single module, I think. Yeah, we load the queue loader. And we actually want to get the loaded and move it out of here. Since we only want to initialize this for anything so let's get the player out here and let's see if we even need the player okay so we load the data of the player okay i see so we do need the player thought we just load any modules but yeah that's 
let's see why it takes other players. Let's see. It cakes modules didn't load. So if it's not loaded, because we initialize this with the player. And we see we just do it for the player. Okay. Now we want to basically apply a few fixes. So let's go through the queue loader step by step and see what we have wrong here. So we got the initialized, which is just global. So this is exactly the problem because the initialized is global and is set like it's just set. And what we do here, if is it if it's initialized, then we just return. So what this will do is the first player will join. And yes, we pass the player and then we set the initialized to true. And since it is true, this will not change. It will just remain true. It kicks other players out because it checks if it's already initialized and it is, so it kicks them. So what we want to do is we want to change this initialized to player initialized. And we want to set this to a table. And then we just want to add the initialized players in there. So we can configure this by just copying this here, pasting it in there and indexing this by the player.userity. And then we want to return. And then what we want to do here is we just copy this, paste it here, and we are going to set this to true. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that we have to fix. If like in here, we have to also put just this and now it's fixed so that's the whole fix that we had to do also in here we have to change a few things i think so we can clean those comments off also so we don't need them And what we want to do here is players dot player removing con connect. And then we want to do queue loader dot cleanup. And we yeah, we just want to add a cleanup function in here. So what we want to do is function queue loader dot cleanup. And this will also need a player. And then we just do we set it to nil. And then we can print uh, cleans up player and then we just do the player.name. And then we can just run the clean up here. And since this is connecting the player that leaves, this will automatically send the player over to our cleanup module. So this will automatically work. So when I just hit play and see that everything works, we got initialized. And when I'm going to leave, so I'm just going to leave the game. Now Prince cleaned up my player. So yeah, this is the whole fix. And yeah, so the next episode will be a bit longer. I just wanted to fix up those issues since I already made a video today, but this was pretty urgent. So yeah, the next episode will be longer. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.